Hello, everybody. This is Captain Speep, and this is uh, October 19th of 2020. And I've been working on a score sheet, a revised score sheet today. And we're looking at getting Ramayan going in terms of the new Planetary Guardian's way of keeping score. And so Ramayan is like the, the test case. He's the one who understands the info matrix better than anyone, and he's the one who can sort of see if it's going to work or not. He's a master marketer and uh, has immediate comprehension. And so it's up to him to kind of see how these maps and, and software systems are going to integrate with the other systems and out there. And so his main ideal job is to uh, systems integrator, integrator for the inflow matrix. And so I'll just give you a look at the score sheet. So if you look on uh, this side over here, we've got the five communication spaces. We've got the personal space, the one-on-one -on -one space, the group space, the community space, and the sacred space. And now what we're doing is we're looking at five different actions or activities in each one, and they're ranked from one to five. And then the top one gets 500, the second one gets 300, the third one is 125. The third, fourth is 50, and the last one is 25. And so what we're doing is we're looking at identifying five activities or habits that you would like to keep score on and track to build up new habits in your life or to reward yourself for the habits that you have now. And so it's a it's blank, and then each day you tick off if you get one, and at the end of the week you have scores in each of the spaces and scores for each of the days and a final score for your week. And then you would add this score to your team of four and then that would be your weekly team score. And you'd be accountable to your team and at the end of each week you would show your, your results and have a bit of a discussion about how well you did. And humans seem to track things or put focus of attention when you track the stats and it's like playing basketball then to get stats right you get rebounds you get foul shots you get uh, field goals you get uh, assists rebounds and so during the game that's what you're aimed at you're aimed at getting these pieces or parts of the game that are played and get stats on them and that's how you know if you're improving or doing well in the game and in life we need sort of the same thing and that's what's missing from a lot of us is like outside of money, how do we keep score? And uh, are we relying on someone outside of ourselves to dictate what these what these uh, activities are? Or are we, we choosing them ourselves? So within this idea, we have the same model, the five communication spaces, and we have the uh, point scores and you choose which of the five activities they're gonna be. And so that's a process which I as a facilitator can take you through or one of the facilitators out there can take you through. Once you've done it, you see how easy it is. And uh, that's a big part of what is happening today. This is the main operating system time map, the time translator. And if you look at the Aqua Marine, there's a 28 day cycle that is the third cycle. So there's four times seven and each one of these score sheets fits in one of those. That's a really nice time translator, Captain Sweet. Can't wait to hear more about that one. Oh, he's got too much time on his hands, man. Now remember that that map is the same as this map. And here you have your lifetime cycle, your yearly cycle, your seasonal cycle, your lunar cycle, your daily cycle your hourly cycle, your minute cycle, your present moment, and your timelessness. And this is called a time stream. And it's another infographic for showing time. Very exciting, isn't it? See, it's all about time and spending time and losing time, tracking time, seeing how well you use time especially when there's deadlines, especially when the world is coming to an end. We all have to maybe keep things a little bit different. We gotta keep score a little bit different way, a little bit more conscious. I'd like to read something here. 
Contrary to what we usually believe, moments like these, the best moments in our lives, are not the passive, receptive, relaxing times. The best moments usually occur when a person's body or mind is stretched to its limits in voluntary effort to accomplish something difficult and worthwhile. But while certain activities can induce flow states more easily than others, to truly achieve flow requires deliberate intention and effort. For in learning to achieve flow, you learn to control your consciousness. It requires you to concentrate attention on the task at hand and momentarily forget everything else for the ultimate goal of leading a more meaningful life. This is what, this is the what of flow. Now this was by uh, the flow state, how to enter your brain's most productive state. Um, by Ransom Patterson. And in the inflow matrix, there's four main levels. There's choice, flow, synergy, and harmony. And the flow is your outer you. So your aim is being in your most productive self. And by having a score sheet, you're identifying all of those things that have the most important value to you. And you're creating a score sheet to track them. And the idea is that this type of feedback mechanism is going to help you get into the flow state. Let's say that you could improve your productivity 25% by cre creating a score sheet. How valuable would that be to you? 25%. I think you might be able to double your productivity within a year. But let's just go for 25%. I'd say that's worth it, right? Use the map.